Hey, what's up mga ka heads and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Titas of Volleyball, Active Playing Volleyball Legends. But before that mga ka heads please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be updated on my upcoming videos. At number 5, Manila Santos Nang. Over a decade ago, when Manila Santos first donned the La Salle colors, the school had earned just one UAAP Women's Volleyball Championship to its name. The league was dominated by FEU, which had just won three straight championships. What followed though was an unprecedented streak of dominance led by one of the greatest volleyball players in the UAAP has ever seen. Santos first suited off for the squad from the Taft Avenue in 2002, and by her second season, she was named the league best receiver the first of three times. By her third season, she was a 3 P champion and she, together with the Lady Spikers, established themselves as one of the greatest teams in league history. After she played her final games for La Salle in 2009, it was a consensus that Santos was a once-in-a-generation talent who transcended all obstacles in her pursuit of excellence. Her number 14 jersey was retired at the end of her final season and she remains the only woman to ever have her number raised to the rafters of the Enrique Vazon Sports Complex. In year 2019, the volleyball community was shocked when she announced her comeback to Choco Mucho Flying Titans in PVL. Although they finished 7th in the tourney, the fans are still excited that they saw the legend Ila Santos. At number 4, Ivy Remulia. With a 4-year run with the Lady Spikers from 1996 onwards, Team Captain Ivy Remulia took the helm of the green and white as they entered the UAAP Finals in the year 2000, wherein they squared off against the FEU Lady Tamaraus for the coveted championship throne. The championship was within arm's reach, but it slipped away from the fingers of the Remulia-led squad as the defending champions succumbed to the Lady Tamaraus in the final round. Despite the heartbreaking championship loss to the Moraita Bay Spikers, Remulia, together with her natural grace and volleyball prowess, left the team with a legacy that they will forever keep. With exceptional elegance, the hard-hitting force on the floor known as Remulia led the team towards a fighting finish after the UAAP Season 63 despite losing to Far Eastern University. Her mastery on the floor and impeccable style kept the team grounded yet aggressive on all sides of the floor. And she will forever be a testament and legacy to what the Lady Spikers are all about. Today, the TV commentator volleyball player is still active at her 40s, helping the Marinerang Pilipina Lady Skippers to get its first win in its franchise history in the Philippine Superliga. And here's May Luna. Oh, single block coming from Ivy Remulia. It doesn't matter if you're in Tintin Santiago Manabag, if you can stop her at the net. But at number 3, Jing Balse Pabayo. Before volleyball made a boom into the local mainstream, Mary Jean Balse Pabayo was one of the sport's pillars. With numerous stints as the national team anchor and with her starring on the army-led troopers best teams in the late 2000s to the early 2010s, Jing Balse is most fondly remembered as a University of Santo Tomas Golden Tigress. She was part of the 2005 bronze medal team of the Philippines in the Southeast Asian Games alongside co-army Tina Salak and Nene Bautista under coach Ramil De Jesus. The Tagum City native brought USD to a UAAP Women's Volleyball title in Season 69 and two championships in the Shakey's V League. Now, in the twilight of her volleyball career, the 36-year-old is relishing her stint with the Petron Blaze Spikers. At number 2, Rachel Ann Dakis. Dakis entered the volleyball scene when she was still in high school in Juan Sumulong Memorial Junior College in Rizal. She joined the FEU Lady Tamaraus and achieved her first championship during the 2008 UAAP Volleyball Championships. 
She also played as guest player for Ateneo Lady Eagles and led the team to first runner-up during the 10th season of the Shakey's V-League, playing with Philippine Army from the Shakey's V-League Season 10 Open Conference. She won the SOS Clear Skin in and out of the court award in the 11th season of the Shakey's V-League. Dakis led the team to the championship. In 2015, she was one of the athletes who participated in the 2015 Southeast Asian Games in Singapore. During that time, she was featured in newspaper in Singapore. On June 30, 2015, Dakis was chosen to be part of the PSL Manila which would participate in the FIVB World Cup Women's Championship happening on October 18-23, 2016 in Manila. Aside from volleyball, Dakis also has worked as a model and she also finished culinary art studies. On October 2018, Rachel Ann Dakis started her own business building the RAD Fitness Philippines which has now five branches. She was given the title Queen Tamarao. She is currently playing in the Philippine Superliga or PSL with the Signal HD Spikers. <laughs> And Rachel and Dan is this one again. Good seal. Doria, you know, important uh, middle blocker. They need, she needs to come home. At number one, Aiza Maiso Pontillas. She was a former member and team captain of the USD Golden Tigresses and a member of the Philippine Women's National Volleyball Team. She led the Spania based squad to its 15th championship in the University Athletic Association of the Philippines or the UAAP League. She was a Shakey's V-League SVL three-time finals and two-time season most valuable player. Maiso is known for bagging several best awards in almost all volleyball skill departments in UAAP and SVL, excluding setting and digging. She is also known as the first Filipina in the entire franchise of SVL to take both finals and season's MVP in a single conference twice. Pontilias graduated from the University of Santo Tomas with a Bachelor of Science in Food Technology. The scoring machine Queen of Opposite and Queen Tigress is currently at the Petron Lay Spikers and oldest member of our Philippine women's volleyball team. So, sino pa ang maidadagdag nyo mga kabiheads? Just comment it down below. So there you have it mga kabiheads. Thank you for supporting this channel and please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get the latest updates on my post. See you! Bye-bye!